looking ahead to this game and dreading this game with Army for a lot of reasons. Sindelar on second down. Open is to him, and he hits him this time with a freshman tight end with his first catch. Six and a first down. Again, good protection, and he's, it's a crossing route, so it's going to take a little bit more time. Does a nice job. He's able to thread the needle on this one. First down and goal. Sindelar play action to the end zone. Caught Payne Durham, his first touchdown. Sindelar had to be come out and have fast start, number one, and number two, they have to be consistent. He's done both those things, and the net result is a 14-7 lead. They'll rush four. Plummer well protected. No chance to pick up the first down for Payne Durham. And that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Play action, the rollout. Touchdown, Purdue to Payne Durham with 24 seconds to go. So we're going to get heavy action this way. And then one, hold on, one more guy. I want to circle this player right here. He's going to come across the field and catch this. This is well designed here. No one picks him up. Look at everyone running to the left. They got their two underneath defenders, but the tight end is wide open. And again, they're going to make this game closer. They're going to get another onside try, Beth, as well. But it might be too. Last time Purdue was shut out was 2013. Looking to punch it into the end zone for the first time. Stretching across it, Payne Durham. Just a little go route right up the seam to the tight end, Payne Durham, in between the defenders. Tight end. Missed him. Nope, found him. <laughs> at the 10, at the 5, yes, sir. in the end zone, touchdown. What a great play design. Missed him again, but he had time. You see Payne Durham from the 87 as he settles in. I've been kind of tracking it, and there's a pattern that's developing. Yep. Those underneath rubs were getting to Nebraska. They couldn't clear him enough, and Payne does a fantastic job at the finding moment for what essentially is the third quarterback in this roster. O'Connell. Nice. Underneath. That's Payne Durham. Had a touchdown catcher. And they came up with yet another victory. A big one. Inside pass to the tight end, Payne Durham, number 87. Purdue last year struggled mightily in forcing turnovers. Gets the ball back and a great throw. This is the tight end, Payne Durham. O'Connell's great throwing lane Payne. there for O'Connell. From his own six on second and long. Throws low, caught by Graham. Makes him and miss, and Graham is stood up. And around the 19, setting up third and short. Fake the handoff, O'Connell looking, rolling, throwing, caught Durham. As he drives forward, another first down. One of the bright spots last week against Wisconsin. Off the play action, a quick pitch and catch, finding Payne Durham the tight end. That's just not good ball. Second and 11, tight coverage, but able to fit it in, and it was that taken away? Yes! Kalon Tolson, now wait, they blew this dead. Over the middle, and fitting it in between the defenders nicely to Payne Durham. Another good throw by Aiden O'Connell. Just seeing the field so well right now. It's cover two, he drops it right in there behind the linebacker. You even went past the decimal place there to make your point. Yeah, it's, about, it's about details, Brent. <laughs> O'Connell rolling out, and he is throwing it. And he's finding Payne Durham. For a first down gain of 11. Jeff Field in motion on first and five. O'Connell throws over the middle. It's caught. Payne Durham, the tight end. Coastal Carolina Marshall wasn't a typo tied at 15. They fake it to Moore and they feed it to the tight end. This is Payne Durham. A lot of room to run. Durham inside Golden Gopher territory. As Mike Hall would say, they're playing America's favorite game. Could I be more wide <laughs> open? I don't see much there. Plummer throws quickly and dumps that pass off, and Durham incomplete. And now the officials are meeting. 
One guy said touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown is the call. The officials met and rule this a touchdown. Yeah, I would say it's a touchdown. Possession, knee down. I agree. Touchdown. And this one will be looked at. And we've already heard from Dean Blandino that he rules this a catch. He's got control, yeah. control, knee is down. And then Sori Marin knocks it away. But Milton Wright, he's come up with some big catches early this season. Almost all slightly behind Payne Durham, but the tight end makes the catch for a gain of about four, maybe five, tackled by Suri Merritt. Purdue trying to get on the board of the opening try. That was Bell in motion. Over the middle. It's the tight end. Payne Durham down about a half yard short. I love the way they run the ball. They're going to see another. Looks like a pass here, actually. Durham in motion. Fake to Horvath. And the tight end's got it. And he won't be denied this time. Touchdown, Purdue. A little momentum after how last week's game ended. It comes out striking first with a touchdown. And a little running into each other there in the backfield. But Payne Durham able to catch it. Lost the ball after he stretched out. And they'll say touchdown for the Purdue tight end. Let's see if he keeps that foot in bounds. Payne Durham, yes he does. Wow, look at that athletic play by Payne Durham to get in the end zone. That's twice now. To get him off of that initial track, he's not great side to side, but you don't want to get a full head of steam from Xander Horvath. Open, this is the tight end, Payne Durham. Such a talented receiver. Third catch for David Bell, and now here comes a Jeff Brown trick play, and it hits Durham, the tight end. Purdue, four out of 12 on third down tonight. Former over the middle, throws, that's caught. First down across the 40-yard line. At a corner spot. Here's Durham. Slips inside the 30, and Durham brought down inside the 25-yard line. And his uncle. On second and seven. Plummer throws low. Nice catch made. There's Durham again. They were able to swarm there, but a couple of them got carried. Durham back in on third and two. It's a throw. Here is Durham back into the ball game and back into the end zone. Touchdown, Purdue. Fourth and short, not picked up by Oregon State. And Durham gets a shot. And a touchdown. And that one's so tough to defend because you can see Durham went into motion. Nope, it's a throw on third and short. And wide open, it's Durham again. Payne Durham is going to seal it to the end zone. Ball game, touchdown Purdue. You see Durham come through the line of scrimmage. They want to be aggressive defensively to stop the run. Durham... We saw getting that ankle wrapped up. He was off the field, limping off, came back for the previous touchdown, gets another one. Plummer has been great on this try. He finds his tight end, Durham. David Bell is putting on a clinic today against his Hawkeye secondary. He lost a shoe, and that's why he ran to the sideline. Here's the tight end, Durham. The streak in the country behind Oklahoma, which has won 14 straight. Purdue ball, play fake. And another throw to the sideline for Durham, the tight end. They brought in both Jack Plummer and Austin Burton as a change of pace, guys. And Jeff Brom expects to do that again here today. But it's starting with O'Connell. And he's finding the tight end, Payne Durham, out across the 40 for a Purdue first down. And he did play 64 of the 78 snaps last week. All kinds of time, and he's got Durham. Touchdown, Buttermakers. You only see three, that means you have eight dropping. And there's the hole in the... Aiden O'Connor, back out at quarterback. There's Durham, he had the touchdown. The overload over there, you see they run four, but they're only rushing three, dropping eight again. And fighting for the marker, needed to get to the 15, did Payne Durham. 
Still tied at 13. Purdue with the football back, second and nine. O'Connell on the play action, finding Durham again. Great job by O'Connell. There he is. You see the blitz came, the pressure came. Nelson would have to get over there, but he beat him to it. I'm not buying that for my <laughs> girlfriend. Telling me. Second to 12. O'Connell at quarterback now. There's Durham. Big game is eight. Catch. Oh! Apparently he's a track star, too. He can hurdle. 100% O'Connell. That's on him. He finds him out in the open. Now I want you to watch this. Excellent job. Purdue just outside of the 40-yard line. Play action. There's Durham. He's over 100 yards. That's a great throw. Horvath, a game-time decision. Back in action. Play action on second and long. Throw back. Tight end has it. Payne Durham. Scampers down the sideline inside the 30, tripped up by Reimer. This battle in the Big Ten West, Kelly Stoffer, Roy Philpott in the booth. Play action for O'Connell. Lutes one defender into the flats. Durham has it. That'll be a first down for Purdue, and O'Connell makes the play that Martinez could not back in our third quarter. Third down and one. They slip it outside of the tight end. Payne Graham with a catch and a first down for Purdue. 17 rushes, 63 yards for Hull. O'Connell going up top, caught, tut, and it is a first down and upended. And a family full of athletes. Brother played hoops at Ohio State. This is a first catch for Payne Durham, the tight end. Picked up nine. Little boot. And a dunk, touchdown, Payne Durham. Watch the play fake go this way. Watch all these defenders bite with it. Tight end leaks backside, and there's nobody home. I mean, O'Connell could have ran it, could have thrown it to 87, 88. I mean, that was a six points all the way around there. Great play design by Jeff Brown. On the third down, is he up to play coverage? It's playing coverage. Over the middle, caught by the tight end, Payne Durham, into Tennessee territory, spins free, Durham down the sideline, a stiff arm, he is in, what a play by Payne Durham, it goes for 62, and Purdue's back in front. Did he stay in bounds all the way down the sideline? Look at the anticipation throwing before his tight end is in that second window, and here this is just... A lapse of concentration by Tennessee. Not finishing the play there. McConnell's got time. Got it. Right back to 87. Two point. The motion widens everybody out. Payne Durham on a little angle route. Get linebackers to flow wide. Or a situation. Play within the offense. O'Connell gets rid of it to the tight end, Payne Durham. He's taking that after a pickup of six. Here's Horvath. Pardon me, O'Connell's got it a boot, and he somehow fits it into his tight end. Payne Durham had a 62-yard rumble. Joe Tiller went 9-4 in 2003 with Kyle Orton. Second and 10 at the 34. O'Connell plants, throws, nice job, Durham. On first down, O'Connell over the middle and caught again. This time it's its tight end, Payne Durham. Here's O'Connell throwing over the middle, caught. First down, Durham still moving, and he's down at the seven-yard line. Little angle route back into the middle of the field, and that's Durham, and he's wide open. Find him early, he's consistent, and he's one of the more steady running backs in the Big Ten. Third down and five for O'Connell. Shoots this one over the middle to the tight end, Durham. Durham picks up first down yardage. On first down, and it's Durham. And Durham across the 30. As the clock is running, you thought that Durham should be in play here late first half. Linebacker on the Big Ten Championship team in 1994. Burton throws, and there's Durham. And Durham with the catch. About two yards shy of the first down. Eddie Williams was with Durham. Empty set on second down. 
Three-man rush. O'Connell over the middle. It's caught by Payne Durham to tight end. And he's out to the 42-yard line of Minnesota. It's third and five. As the top contender in the east to Georgia. There's the blitz. O'Connell finds his tight end, Payne Durham, a gain of four. It's That's when O'Connell's forced the ball and had some issues. Durham again on the check down. Met by Oliver, about a couple of yards shy of the marker. It's third down. Second down and eight from the 48. Play action. O'Connell hits Durham for a first down. And third and 16 on this opening series here for the Boilermakers. O'Connell to the middle of the field. Payne Durham, the reliable tight end, makes the grab, but well short. And a short yardage pass becomes a little bit longer than that, thanks to Payne Durham. And yards after the catch. Make a passing attack that we're accustomed to. He's used seven different receivers, including this guy. And another first down for Payne Durham in this Purdue offense. O'Connell, that's his safety valve, is Payne Durham. O'Connell finds Durham. That's the guy right there. That's the guy right there, Payne Durham. O'Connor surveying touchdown catch by Tara. Matchup wise, today's game, it just makes that much more sense. This ends up being an angle route from your tight end, shooting his eyes around as though he's going to run an out route and then quickly darting back toward. Payne hey, Durham, wide open, a blown coverage off the blitz from the Terrapins, and Durham tells Ja'Cory Bennett to taste these fingers real quick, continuing to work, powering his way towards the end zone. He's big, he's fast, he is wiry. All these Terrapins trying to keep him out of the end zone. He nearly got all the way home. We saw Corey Deitches do it for Maryland as a tight end. Sometimes that ball comes out pretty quick. Pressure. Here they come, and that's caught, and there is Durham at the 20. Take the points. On second down, O'Connell over the middle. There's Durham, and Durham stretches out near the 30. The third and about two. Haven't seen much of him tonight. Across the board, and again, it's 1-3. And there's Durham inside the 20. And then get the pick. Reese Taylor, his third career interception, but his first as a Boilermaker, first two came as a Hoosier. Make it to Maccabee. O'Connell, time throws short, short of the line to gain. It was caught by Durham. So, O'Connell, rifle shot over the middle. He's got Payne Durham, the tight end. That was in rhythm and well done, a gain of 23. Here comes a blitz up the middle, and right over the middle again, it's Payne Durham. A gain of seven, back to Matt Barry. So Purdue's probably thinking they're going to need to get into the 30s to win this game. And they don't have much time left. A rollout for O'Connell. Payne Durham. Well, what's the mindset game plan-wise at this point for Purdue? O'Connell on a rollout, looking back to his left. The tight end throw back to Payne Durham for the touchdown. Well executed. Connell is going to sprint out this way. When he does, just pay attention to everybody on this Wisconsin defense as they follow. And here's Durham. He is now going to leak right where everybody just vacated. You clear out the space. You sprint the quarterback to the right. Third down and four here for Purdue with seven minutes to go. O'Connell over the middle. 
Tough catch in traffic. Payne Durham for the first down. Boy, he climbed the ladder and paid the price. Slow to get up. O'Connell fumbled it for a moment. Pass is caught. That's his tight end. Payne Durham. Making it difficult to complete passes. Looking for a big play on fourth down. They may just have it. They know. The tight end Durham. Against an Illini defense that's been so strong this season. Rare they'd give up a third and long. O'Connell plenty of time. Has the tight end wide open. Payne Durham. And it's another first down into Illini territory on this opening drive. You know, you had King Daru was the quarter or the running back to start the year, and he's injured. Only needed a yard, and that's exactly what Payne Durham picks up there. It's really tough to get loose. Cold weather, November football in the Big Ten. Hello! Up over the top, Payne Durham, the hurdle. You know, typically we talked about it, he's typically looking to, to Charlie Jones. On this play, they find Durham over the middle. And how about that hurdle? That's six foot five, 255 pounds going up in the air. It's about getting more positive plays and winning those one on one battles. O'Connell to the tight end, Payne Durham. Can they put out the flames here? O'Connell. Rolling left, floats back in the end zone, jump ball, it was caught, touchdown Purdue! Payne Durham fires the Boilermakers in front. Be fourth down and they back him up, so it makes the field goal attempt. Really a question of which foot comes down first, because the right foot is in the end yeah, the zone, le the left, the left foot is out, so what foot hits first? Jump ball back of the end zone. Play action. O'Connell. It's caught. Payne Durham dragging a man all the way for a Purdue touchdown. Late touchdown signal given. Payne Durham muscling his way to breaking the plane and firing Purdue back in front. We've been talking about the tight end being an issue for the Illinois defense the last two weeks. Right now, just trying to get off the field. Can the Illini give their offense another chance? O'Connell finds the tight end. Durham, he's wrapped up, churning the legs forward. Going to be just shy Ooh. of that first down. He was carrying Witherspoon on his back. Third down and 11. Movement on the line, and a flag comes down. This is going to be a free play for Purdue. And caught by Durham. Out across the 50 to the 45. What a throw it. Tight end Durham. Touchdown, Purdue. Northwestern has what they want. They have two guys to stop this play, but they both come across the line of scrimmage, and Durham is leaking out. O'Connell throws. That's caught. Payne Durham. Tight end. First down. Looks like that safety's creeping down. They're going to go with man on the outside. Here he goes. He's walking up. On second and ten. O'Connell throws. That's Durham again. And Durham. Forward progress out to the 46-yard line. When we saw him early in the season, he was he was sharp as a tack. And right now, he's, his ball's just coming off a little high. This one perfectly thrown to Payne Durham. He'll have a first down near the 30-yard line. Charlie Jones up to 95 receptions this season. Has two tonight. O'Connell to Durham. Goal line power. Touchdown, Purdue. And the Boilermakers have the lead. 82-yard drive. We've seen this a lot this season. O'Connell to Durham with a lot on the line for Purdue. A Big Ten West title. Purdue has the lead by three. And now it looks like they're going to be matched up. Single coverage, top of your screen. Second down, nine. O'Connell finds his tight end. This time it's Payne Durham. And they run it. Iowa diving. Excuse me, Purdue diving, and that's Durham. A lot 
of talk about the fact Ohio State had a fake punt called. It would have been wide open, and they actually didn't execute it because it snapped back to the punter. That looked a little like what Ohio State was trying to do. First down and 10 of the 25. O'Connell underneath, and they'll get it to the 30. Durham.